How's it going, guys? <clears throat> November 11th afternoon. It's about 2.45 maybe. Just got sat down and situated here over our food plot on my turn. Got Josh sitting across the crop field from me on the point stand. We both sat here this morning. Josh was in this stand, I was in a different stand. Both saw some bucks that were showing some rutting activity. A couple does, lots of turkeys. Need to get them taken care of in the spring, but we're both sitting here and warmed up a little bit from what it was here the last couple days, sun shining, snow and ice is melting pretty decent, but hopefully we're gonna see some good activity and hopefully we get a shot of something. So here we go. Just never had an angle or what, but I've been shooting that fucking nose. Now they moved up past him now. Well, that's a good sign though. I think I figured out why Josh didn't shoot them does. There's a buck coming by in a mirror. Doesn't look like a shooter, but maybe I'm wrong. shoots here. It didn't look like a shooter from what I could see, but I don't know. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. I can't tell. and him, he would have shot by now. That's a 
exciting though, because we had even been sitting here for 20 minutes and that's already what we're seeing. Gonna be a good night yet. Friday, November 13th. Hopefully it's not a bad luck for me. Down here in Turin. Josh shot a buck this morning. Clear on the other end of our farm here. Hit it back a little ways. Got shot, but it was a pass-through. A buck that we think was one we called deuces. But I'm clear on the other end of the farm, clear to the south, sitting here. Kind of a south breeze, but it's pretty pretty quiet here in the timber. I bumped a few does when I walked in. I came in from the south, but it's about a little after 3 o'clock here. Got to sit here and try to rattle or call something in. The bucks have been moving like crazy the last few days. Just see what we can do. Stay tuned. Well, it's the end of legal shooting light. Saw couple does walk from the crop field up the hill here at the end well kind of the middle I guess hour before end of the legal light but then that little fork buck came by earlier on but that's all we saw kind of surprised that with it being windy out the deer would be moving in the timber a little more than that but we're going to climb out of here and I'm going to go sit at a completely new farm that I've never hunted before in the morning uh, for a little bit and then uh, we're going to go look for Josh's buck that he shot this morning on this farm. Hopefully we find it. It's a good one if it's the one we think it is. So, Till next time, stay tuned. Shot last Friday, they went out and looked Sunday morning, or excuse me, Saturday morning, lost blood, and he went back and looked for it here today, Oh, and he found her. Alright, hey guys, it is uh, around 11.30, and I've actually moved to the other side of the road. Uh, the guy that lets me hunt owns both sides of a gravel road and I got a buddy who's been driving around at night and he said he's been seeing a, a big big buck hanging out in this cornfield. I'm tucked into a fence row right now. 
I got the wind blowing perfect as long as they don't come from this way, which they could, but that's where I came from, so they'll probably pick up on my ground scent before anything, but now they've got a big buck that's been uh, uh, drinking water out of this little, uh, little dam, I guess I'd call it, right up here in this big hollow, so I've got a really active uh, fence opening that they seem to like to come through just about 10-15 yards away from me and uh, I'll probably sit here most of the day unless I either see something that makes me want to move or for some reason the wind changes but down here the wind seems to just go exactly like it says it's gonna go unlike the other side where the valleys are exactly opposite um, but yeah so I'll probably sit here for a while maybe a couple hours and then maybe try to rattle something up the wind's supposed to die down so hopefully it does a little warm right now but I'm gonna be happy I got these layers on later so yeah <clears throat> well it's 3 30 and uh, the wind finally seems to have chilled out a bit so I expect to start seeing some does and stuff funneling into this cornfield I've uh, been a lot of action today, you know, smaller bucks out seeking, and I saw one, probably two and a half year old, six point chasing a group of three bucks, and then he actually came back with a single doe, but uh, yeah, it's been a good sit so far, the wind's still doing what I want it to do, so seems to have swirled a little bit there at one point, but it really isn't nothing to worry about, uh, yeah. Just hope the action keeps up and uh, maybe we can get lucky enough to put a shot on one. He didn't come into the call, but uh, he paid attention, and then he followed that doe. She didn't act like she wanted nothing to do with him, but he's still going to follow her. He's, he's a nice buck. He's a really nice big buck, mature. I'll probably give it five or ten minutes, and then I think I'm going to uh, rattle, and if he's, you know, not devoted to that doe, he might come in, so. Fingers crossed. 